The common knowledge base is the foundational layer of the Nervos Network blockchain ecosystem. It relies on a unique programming model known as the Cell model to enable Turing complete smart contract functionality. In this video, we'll explore the Cell model in a deep dive, thereby demonstrating how it offers a highly sustainable, flexible, and scalable programming environment with unique benefits that cannot be found on other platforms. So what are cells? Cells are the most basic data structure of the Nervos Layer 1 blockchain and are similar to how cells comprise the human body. Every cell has the ability to hold pieces of data in any form that the developer desires, such as a smart contract, token balance, NFT, or any other type of important information. This makes cells a true store of assets. These pieces of data are known as common knowledge since they are accessible to everyone connected to the blockchain. A cell is essentially a container made up of CK bytes, which is the native currency of the Nervos Layer 1. As a result, storing data in cells creates a natural demand for CK bytes. Anytime data changes on the blockchain, it happens within a transaction where cells are being simultaneously destroyed and created. This process is similar to the Bitcoin UTXO model that it was inspired by, which has been described in our previous videos on the UTXO Alliance. Cells can be in one of two states, live or dead. A live cell is one that has been created in a transaction as an output. This live cell can then be used in a second transaction as an input. Once a cell is included in a transaction as an input, it is consumed. Only live cells can be used in transactions, and this means that every cell can only be consumed a single time. This process of managing cells is similar to the renewal and division of cells throughout the body. All the live cells together comprise the state, which is all of the data that currently exists on the blockchain. All of the dead cells which have been consumed comprise the historical state of the blockchain. State Rent Keeping the state a manageable size is an important part of maintaining decentralization. The cell model uses a carefully constructed incentive system called State Rent to achieve this. The number of CK bytes needed for a cell is determined by the requirements of what needs to be stored in the cell. Owning one CK byte grants you the right to store one byte of any data in the state. In this context, we refer to the CK bytes as capacity because they are what forms the container. Data stored on the blockchain incurs costs to persist and distribute. The cost is small, but it is continuous, which means that continual fees need to be paid as long as the data exists. Relying on a single one-time fee doesn't make sense because after the fee is paid, there is no more incentive to maintain the data. That is where state rent comes in. The CK bytes used to store data in cells are used to pay state rent in the form of targeted inflation. Manually paying fees for state rent would be too troublesome for a user. Instead, the CK bytes used to store data in cells are slowly losing a very small amount of value through inflation that is used to pay miners. Investors that are not using their storing data in cells can put their CK bytes in the Nervos DAO that pays rewards proportionally to inflation which effectively makes CK bytes hard cap for long-term holders. When a cell is no longer needed by its owner, it can be discarded and the CK bytes used for the cell are returned to them. State rent incentivizes efficient and responsible use of the limited space available on the blockchain and counteracts state bloat. State bloat is a big problem in networks like Ethereum where there is no incentive to remove old data that is no longer needed. The result is an increasing burden on full node operators who need increasingly more computational resources to keep the network operational. As the requirements rise, so do the costs. This creates a threat to decentralization as fewer nodes are able to shoulder the cost of operation and begin to shut down. The cell model provides a sustainable alternative for preventing the loss of decentralization in the long term. Cell structure. A cell is a very basic data structure Although it sounds complicated, it's actually very simple. Every cell contains exactly four fields, capacity, data, typescript, and lock script. Capacity. This is the number of CK bytes contained within the cell and they determine the maximum amount of data the cell can occupy. One CK byte within the cell amounts to one byte of capacity for storage. As we described earlier, the CK bytes can be thought of as a way to define the size container. More CK bytes means more capacity in the container for data storage. The minimum size of a cell that has no extra data is 61 bytes. Data. The data field is used for any data stored inside the cell. This can be data of any kind, but is commonly smart contracts and token information. 
TypeScript. This is a small program known as a script that defines how the cell behaves and the rules that it must follow when being included in transactions. For example, it could define that the cell is a token or it could define that the cell is an NFT. A TypeScript commonly includes most of the logic normally attributed to a typical smart contract. LockScript. This is a script that specifically defines ownership of the cell. It is a small program that is responsible for approving or denying access to the cell. This is much more powerful than using a simple label to define who owns it. Complex logic can be included, which gives developers an extra level of flexibility not found anywhere else. Now, let's look at some of the advantages of the cell model. First class asset. Because the lock script is a field that focuses exclusively on authorization, separate from the TypeScript that handles more general smart contract functionality, strict security models can be enforced. This gives rise to an emergent property known as first class assets, which guarantees that user authority always takes precedence during smart contract execution. Not even the smart contract that defines the asset can modify it without explicit permission from the user. This means that even if an exploit was found in the contract code, the attacker would still be locked out of the asset because it is under the user's control. This nullifies the effects of many types of attacks and demonstrates exceptional smart contract security. The alignment of control and responsibility to the user allows for true ownership of digital assets in a way that mirrors how ownership of assets occurs in the physical world. This becomes increasingly important as digital ownership becomes more relevant in daily life. Reusable templates. In the cell model, smart contracts and modules are all reusable on-chain code, kind of like templates. This ability to reuse lowers the cost of development and deployment. It also encourages developers to adopt reliable components which have already been thoroughly tested and audited. Furthermore, it increases blockchain efficiency. A developer can simply refer to an existing cell that contains the required code, instead of having to take up extra space to deploy their own code. This is in contrast to Ethereum where the majority of smart contracts are for ERC20 tokens. This code has been copy and pasted tens of thousands of times and each time it is deployed it takes up more state space for each new token. Nervos' smart contract system is completely template based by default. Creating a new token can be done without deploying any new code. Instead, it can rely entirely on an existing smart contract which has already been deployed. This saves money for developers and keeps the chain running efficiently, keeping the cost to users low and making the entire chain sustainable long term. Scalability. The cell model is scalable in a way that cannot be matched by smart contract platforms which rely on the account model. Every cell is an individual state unit that can execute smart contracts in parallel with other cells. An example of this could be explained as customers of a bank waiting in line for a teller to help them. In the account model, everyone must wait in a single line until the single teller helps them one by one. In the cell model, there isn't a limit to the number of tellers and all the customers can get help at the same time. The cell model paradigm relies exclusively on verification, moving computation off chain. In more simple terms, checking that a proposed solution is correct requires much less effort than calculating the solution in the first place. Deterministic transactions. A deterministic transaction is one where the result of a transaction is known before a user signs and submits the transaction to the network. This eliminates any possibility of an undesired result once the transaction confirms, and also prevents the all too common scenario in Ethereum where a user pays an extremely high gas fee only to have their transaction fail with an error. Cells as digital real estate. Owning cells on the common knowledge base is like owning digital land. These cells and their constituent CK bytes represent a limited storage space on a global, decentralized, interoperable blockchain. As more and more live cells are created, more CK bytes are locked into these cells. Therefore, with a rapidly growing ecosystem, owning state on the Nervos base layer will become increasingly attractive for investors. Transaction fee flexibility. Due to the flexibility of the cell model, the rules of consensus are enforced abstractly rather than with rigid patterns that must be conformed to. One example of how this manifests is that transaction fees can be paid by anyone, the sender, recipient, or a third party. 
This can greatly improve the user experience since different business models can choose different fee models that make the most sense for their products. Developers can choose to pay the fees for their users or even allow users to pay fees with different tokens. Ideal for NFTs. The SEL model allows for next generation NFT standards to be built that enable extremely low cost minting and transfer of NFTs. With the COTA standard, an unlimited number of NFTs can fit into a cell that never grows in size. This is made possible using sparse Merkle trees, or as normal people like to call it, magic. New NFTs can be minted and sent for fractions of a penny. This extremely low cost makes it possible for developers to tackle the cost barriers which are currently preventing mainstream mass adoption while keeping the blockchain itself sustainable and secure. Challenges of the cell model Let's look at some of the challenges of the cell model. As you have seen, the design of the cell model offers unparalleled flexibility for developers to create new and innovative products not possible on other platforms. But such a paradigm shift requires a new way of thinking. This could present a steep learning curve initially, especially at such an early stage when documentation and tooling are still maturing and new development patterns are still emerging. However, new technology always presents opportunities to the pioneers whose expertise will then be in demand from subsequent developer teams. Not all applications may be suited to a base layer cell model environment. This is why Nervos Network is a collection of multiple layers and protocols, providing a wide range of options for developers. For example, multi-chain products built using Solidity will feel more at home using an Ethereum-friendly solution using a Godwo Kernel Axon chain. These layered solutions benefit directly from the interoperability within the ecosystem while taking advantage of the security benefits of the Nervos base layer. Unlimited potential. The cell model was designed to maximize flexibility in a way that has never been done before on any other blockchain platform. One common example of this is that the cell model has no built-in encryption. All smart contracts rely on libraries, just like regular programs. This might sound like a small difference, but it's actually profound since adding new kinds of encryption is an action that requires a hard fork. Developers who want to push the envelope on what's possible can do so by adopting new technology quickly, allowing them to respond to industry changes faster than is possible anywhere else. This is the power of the cell model, the ability to build without limits. With Nervos, everybody wins.